cataract, it's not that something new develops in the eye, but it's the human lens which is crystal clear at younger age. As we age, it gets cloudy. That is called the cataract. So this is the front part of the eye. This is the cornea. This is the human lens. As we, we are young and children, it's clear. It's crystal clear, transparent. And this, is, this part is the retina, which is the, uh, like a film if we compare it to the camera. This is the optic nerve, which is a cable connection from the eye to the brain. So all the messages received by the retina is transmitted by the optic nerve goes into the brain. So when we get older, this lens gets cloudy. As you can see here, there are different ways the cataract grows. There are certain type of cataracts, um, which is very typical of diabetes. So when we remove the cataract, now we have this empty space. In that space, we put an implant in the eye. So that this is a focusing lens, which focuses rays of light going through this lens. It focuses onto the retina. So before the cataract surgery, we measure the length of the eyeball, curvature of the cornea, and there are set calculation. We calculate the power of the implant. It's like we are going to the optometrist and they check the prescription for your glasses. That's what we are putting the implant here, custom made for that particular eye. Cataract is a diagnosed by looking into the eye through the microscope, which is called the slit lamp. Um, most of the people with the cataract have some form of vision difficulty, either blurry vision or uh, difficulty with the bright light. They experience glare, especially in a bright sunny day or driving at night, the oncoming headlights would bother them. So these are the symptoms. The mainly, the initial stage of the cataract process, the patient experience decreased in the contrast vision. So if they are walking in a dimly lit area, they may not be as comfortable as it was when the lens was clear. The patients with diabetes are three to four fold uh, higher prevalence for cataract surgery, especially in type two. It starts at an earlier age than type one. Um, so overall, and especially if the patient has uncontrolled diabetes or wide fluctuation of blood sugar, they are more prone to have early cataract formation um, than the usual age-related cataracts.